MPP Kernahan. Thank you, Chair, and uh, and thank you to to all our presenters here today. It's good to see all of you uh, again. <clears throat> I want to start off with uh, with Anova. Uh, Jesse, you know, I think you you spoke about uh, the moral difficulties that your folks are facing. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, I think turning away 95% of people who are seeking shelter uh, should be something that that gives the government pause. Would you like to see the government use some of its $5.4 billion slush fund to create more affordable housing and supportive housing and support organizations like ANOVA? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, to the chair, uh, short answer is yes. Uh, housing is a critical part to the work that we do. Uh, we are having uh, women and children have longer and longer stays in shelter. We have had consistently for the last couple of years, we've had more children than women in shelter. So we're having bigger families mm -hmm. come and stay with us. So women with three, four, five, six children. Um, so finding uh, sustainable and affordable housing for them is difficult. It's going to be a longer wait in general, but we're having women stay in shelter with us for four, five, six months their risk reduces the longer that they stay in shelter, but there's nowhere for them to go. And then we have women calling with higher risk who need to be in shelter right away, but we're not gonna kick out uh, mom and kids when they don't have some place to go. So being able to have affordable housing that is going to accommodate larger families is also really important. The uh, urgency with which we need to address the housing crisis for the clients that we serve um, is on a daily basis for CMIS. So any any investment that could be helpful in that area would be greatly appreciated. Understood. And I wanna thank you for your comments about, uh, about women's labor keeping these programs growing because uh, that's something we, we hear all the time at committee about how uh, people with good hearts are, are keeping these systems functioning in despite uh, financial disinvestment and financial neglect uh, from the government. Uh, I wanna just, hopefully have the committee focus on your quote, how are you supposed to be a helper when you can't take care of yourself? It really resonates and should with, with everyone who heard it. Uh, can you talk about your workforce, you know, some of the sacrifices that they make to, to help keep ANOVA running? Yeah, I can speak to that, thank you. Um, so through the chair, I, so the team at ANOVA is much like a lot of the other teams from our sister shelters and sister sexual assault centers that we speak with. Um, they uh, come in and show up to work every day and through COVID there was a lot of having to come into work and not quite knowing what they were having to do. So putting on PPE, donning uh, gowns, uh, masks, shields, providing uh, trauma-informed uh, counseling services through and uh, using PPE, not the easiest thing to do. Um, we have had also a very high rate of staff who've had to take short-term and long-term leaves because of the stress of the work. Um, having to turn away 95% of the calls uh, is not only difficult for the woman on the end of the phone to hear, but it is incredibly difficult for our team to, to do that on an hourly basis. Um, couple that with the increased femicides that we've been seeing in London. Um, we know these women, they're not strangers to us. Uh, we have had, uh, we've also had um, parts of our team have really struggling with paying their own bills and so mm. coming to work and really focusing on trying to find somebody housing when they themselves are also struggling uh, as well. And so uh, oftentimes, you know, a lot of this work is done on the backs of women. Mm. It's women supporting women and it's not always valued as much as it should be. So anytime there's an opportunity to talk about not just the incredible women that we get to serve and support every day, but also the incredible women that get to work and do this and deliver these services. Um, we're always gonna try and take that opportunity to really share how valuable they are and how worthy they are of a fair and decent um, wage and package. Thank you so much uh, for your comments. 